today. Our search for kindness has led us to a very special woman who is using her own past struggles to help change the futures of others. Her name is Karamia Bacciocchi. She's a mother, she's a grandma, but to hundreds of people in her community struggling with homelessness and addiction, she is a guiding light helping them through her organization. It's called Hope on a Mission. Take a look. It is Saturday on a busy corner in Poughkeepsie, New York. Hey, Poughkeepsie. Here but we weekends on the streets these days are far different from what they used to look like for Karamia Bacciocchi, who is now living a life of active recovery. Nobody grows up and wants to be an addict, but there was a comfort level and a familiarity in my home growing up where um, when people were angry, they used substances. I didn't know how to handle my discomfort and my pain. I didn't know how to handle myself. So I used substances to help me do that. It took me down all the way to the bottom of the gutter. It looked like desperation and pain. It looked like brokenness. It was a really horrible, very, very dark period of my life. And I was rolling around in the gutter for a number of years before um, I sort of decided that this isn't what I wanted. Karamia would get clean, but like many people who struggle with addiction, she would relapse. I found myself in the very same jail cell in February of 2013 that I'd left in June of 1990. And it was like, two by four from God. I ended up uh, leaving jail and going to transitional housing. And while I was up there, they have a nice library of things to read. And um, I found something by Pastor Rick Warren called Purpose Driven Life. The book, which has sold more than 50 million copies in more than 70 languages, is credited with transforming lives. In it, Pastor Rick Warren answers questions about the purpose of life on Earth. And that's where I very clearly heard God say to me, be the woman you needed when you were in the street. God made it very clear that that was my job become that woman. On the corner of Maine and Clinton. With that sense of responsibility on her heart, Karamia got to work. She started off small. All I did was show up on a street corner in a car that I borrowed from a friend with some water bottles and just started talking to people. And that's really all it is. You don't have to give money. You can say, hey, I, I recognize you're struggling. Can I say a prayer for you? And it was there that Hope on a Mission was born, created to help those facing homelessness or addiction. Hope on a Mission exists to restore dignity. Again, the, the goal is to love people who feel unlovable. Um, I felt unlovable when I was in the street. I felt like I had no, I had no redemptive qualities and I could never right my wrongs. And that's where the hopelessness came in. Um, and, you know, we're out there to prove them wrong. Today, Karamia is eight years clean. A feeling she once chased with substances is now fulfilled in what she calls God's work. There were all these things that happened that occurred in my, my life experience, but instead of them holding me back and dragging me down, which at one time they did, um, I've been able to reframe my story and turn around. Every day it's a pinch me. Every single day, like whose life am I living? Because Everything that I thought I wanted and thought and and was running and chasing down and trying to get is now appearing in my life. Karamia, she's with us now. What a pleasure it is to sit with you. And can we just underscore something we said in the piece? Eight years sure. sober, eight years in recovery. How are you feeling on yeah. this morning taking a look back down memory lane? Um, overwhelmed and totally excited at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Carmia, what, what really inspired me and a lot did, but you have been through pain, you mm -hmm. have been through heartbreak and struggle, you have been at your lowest low, mm -hmm. but somehow you use all of that pain to help others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, how did that, how, um, what gave you the strength to do that? Uh, people believing in me. Um, when I went up to rehab, um, the same place that I found Purpose Driven Life up in Saranac Lake, a rehab nestled on the mountaintop up there, um, there were people who said, we're going to help you face yourself and you don't have to do it alone. We're going to be here with you. And that gave me the courage because so much of my struggle had been alone. So much of addiction is lonely. 
Mm -hmm. And um, for people to say for no reason, no personal gain, that we're going to help you through mm -hmm. this just filled my heart and filled my soul. And that's that gives me the purpose to do what I do every day because I'm going to be your champion. Well, you, uh. you do have such a purpose. I loved how you started because people always wonder, like, if I have that feeling and I want to help someone, how do I start? You took a, a friend's <laughs> car that you borrowed and put some water in the back and started. It was so easy. I mean, such an easy way to begin, right? Yeah, it was um, <laughs> it was very it, it was small and tiny and simple. And I was being obedient to uh, the, you know, hearing God say, all right, go do this. And now it's time. I had two and a half years of recovery at that point. And um, and I was hanging out in my room one day and I was looking on Facebook and I very clearly heard God say, it's time to go. And I was like, uh, right what? now, where, where, right now, right. How were you received that first day when you rolled up with the water and the, and the prayers? Well, I, what was really cool was there was people were doing their activity on the corner. That's a, it's right in the heart of where, um, drug activity, prostitution, dealing, um, homelessness, all of that is occurring right in that, in that area. That's pretty much the hub of it. And so I was sent very directly to that space, mm -hmm. and I just sat there. And the very first person who came by was um, a blonde woman, and she came around the corner, and I said, hey, what you doing? She goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm waiting for you. Mm -hmm. And um, a couple of years later, she found recovery, and that was a really beautiful story that we got to share. I'm waiting for you. I love that. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break, all right, Carmi? We want to talk some more because your story is fascinating to us. We'll be back right after this. Before the break, we shared the story of Carmi Abachioki, who's on a mission to help people in her community get on their feet and have a better life. We loved our conversation, and we want to keep going. And I think part of what we love about your story is... You have a North Star, and you had a moment with God, which was so incredible. But there was a book that kind of led you that way, and it was by uh, Pastor Rick Warren, A Purpose Driven Life. So, Carmia, what was it about the book that captured you so? Um, it took me, it took the victimhood away. Mm. Uh, it really explained to me why the things that occurred in my life did. Uh, they were basically, when I look back at my life, everything that I've gone through has been training for me to be the person I am today and will continue to grow into. Well, I'm not sure if we've met anybody on this show yeah. that is living their purpose yes. the way that you are yes. every single day. And you said that living, just living, is every day is a pinch me mm -hmm. moment just by giving of you. Well, we thought maybe we'd give you another pinch me moment. Just, just a little Why one. Why not? Should we give you a pinch me moment? Should we invite a sure, pastor? Well, not. Pastor Rick Warren, are you here? <laughs> I am. Oh, Carmia. How are you? Good to see you. We made it to Saddleback you. Church a couple of years ago. We drove across country and we were at your church. Oh. oh. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> well, I tell you, I tell you what, uh, Kay and I heard about what you've done with your life and uh, we decided that we wanted to contribute $1,000 toward what you are uh, doing and the, the difference you're making with your life. And uh, I, when uh, uh, the team of today invited me to come on and just surprise you and say, God bless you for what you're doing. You're making a difference. You know, uh, congratulations. Karamia, I know that you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Pastor, for being an obedient servant because that set a great example for me. And well, you know, everybody can live their life at one of three levels. There's a survival level, and a lot of people are at that level today with the yeah. pandemic just going on. Then there's the success yep. level where if you've got money, you can make some choices. But you've moved from success to significance. Oh. And, and that's where oh. you, you know your meaning, you know your purpose. And, you know, Pastor Warren, I don't know if you heard the whole, her whole story. You probably know it. She's done nothing but give back. That's what she's been doing yeah. ever since. She's, uh, she's paying it forward. She sure is. Yeah. There's a verse in the Bible that says, you'll, you'll never really understand the meaning of life until you give it away. Mm. That oh. only those who lose their lives will, will, uh, will really live it. Oh. Absolutely. Car Every single day. Carmia, anything you want to say to Pastor Warren before we, before we <laughs> go? Uh, I think I did. I just, you know, thank you so much for 
being an obedient servant and writing the book because it led me to where I am today. Well, we just saw kind of a Beyonce well, moment. When she saw you, she freaked out. Like, she like did. You. That was the best part of our whole day. It was beautiful. You don't see that every day. You know, uh, Purpose Driven Life has passed 50 million copies wow. sold in English. And I'm not, I, I, I never get tired of these stories. Wow. It's, uh, it's also now the most translated book in the world, except for the Bible. It's in 137 wow. languages. Wow. wow. Well, Garamia, we are Guinness. so happy you found that book. Pastor and Warren, thank you so yes, much for too. surprising <laughs> her today. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you guys. And Love again, you guys. thank you guys. This book Love is you, called. Hoda. Love thank you. Too. Bye. This right. book is called The Purpose Driven Life. Yeah. Garamia is doing incredible work. Uh -huh. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.